My name is Wolfgang Wimmer. I'm developer of the Varroa controller. The Varroa controller is a device that works with hyperthermia. So heat treatment against the Varroa mite that is in our beehives and that is endangering our hives quite a bit these days. I would like to show you with this video an annual treatment plan. How can you one be successful against the mite using no chemicals? No chemicals because we strongly believe that we cannot expect healthier bees by putting more and more chemicals into our hives. So what it is, we 10 years ago started the development of this machine. We have it now since many many years successful on the market and with this video I show you what is also written in the handbook for hypothermia that I published and you will find it on our website as a free PDF download. I will explain to you briefly how this annual treatment plan works. The main idea is that we control the Varroa. That's why the machine is called Varroa controller, obviously. We control the Varroa to what extent that the Varroa is not exceeding a thousand mite per hive throughout the entire year. We, we can see from various literature, from various publications, that a good level, a conservative good level, is thousand mites per hive for not having any problem with the mite as such. We cannot avoid the mite at all, but we can keep the threshold of a thousand mites. So let's say uh, you are coming out of the winter and there are, I don't know, I just take a number here, uh, there are maybe a 400, 400 uh, mites in your hive in, in March, April, May, June and so on. Here are the months of the year. So what we do is, we do a first heat treatment when you have two, three capped brood cells per hive. Uh, capped brood cells are very important because there the mother mite goes in before the cells are capped and the mother mite is then reproducing herself in the capped brood cells. This is, uh, this is the mechanism. So the earlier we attack the mite ready to reproduce, the better it is for us, respectively for our uh, um, hives. So we have, if we look at the total population, we have in spring 80% of the mites are in the brood cells. So when we do a heat treatment, then we can reach this 80%, this 80% that is in the capped brood cells. So the, the, the remaining is sitting on the adult bees. It's a lower number. It's, uh, so out of these 400, I take around about 320 out. And then, yes, uh, the population continues. Yeah? Fine. So how does it work? We take out the cap brood cells, you make them be free, you put them into the machine, into the Varroa controller, uh, which accommodates 20 frames. You will take the capped brood of six, seven, depending on how many, how many frames you have, six, seven hives into one load of the machine. And uh, you start the program and it heats it up exactly to the point which the mite is not resisting anymore, but the bee pooper. Yeah? The bee pooper is fine, the mite is dead. Yeah? That principle has been found out in the University of Tübingen already in the 1990s. Yeah? So Professor Engels, who did uh, give me a nice preface to the uh, handbook of hypothermia that I wrote, uh, found out that principle and thanks to him we know that. Okay, so this very early intervention is a, a very very important uh, thing. Then we come all the way to June and 21st of June, mid-summer, we do the following. We take the 
queen and lock her inside this, as we call it, duplex frame box. Duplex because it can accommodate, accommodate two frames. So two frames are in there and the queen is locked inside this duplex frame box in order to have her laying eggs only on two frames. So as we start, find the frame with the fresh egg, the queen is on it, I put it in here and I put a foundation next to it. And this whole thing goes into the brood chamber of the hive. Here is brood, here is brood, everywhere is brood. Uh, but the queen can only lay eggs on these two. So they will immediately build this foundation and the queen is then putting uh, eggs on only these two frames. After 12 days I exchange one frame which is in the meantime cut, the one that had already eggs at the beginning, or laden. I exchange it and replace it with uh, a freshly built hive, uh, sorry, a freshly built frame where the queen can immediately lay her eggs for another 12 days. So now on day 24, which is the mid of July when I started, at midsummer, 21st of June. So I'm coming on day 24 and here and here, no brood anymore. The bees are all warm for sure because 24 is longer than 21, the life uh, cycle of a bee. And as the bees are born here, the mites are also coming out of the cells. And where do they go? Yes, into the last and final place to reproduce. So on day 24, I have the mites catched in these two frames, which I can then take out, have a broodless hive, can do uh, a treatment against the mites that are attached to the adult bee, and I can exchange the several time used dark brood frame against fresh wax foundation in order to, to have also wax hygiene uh, on my hive. Uh -huh. So that means here, uh, mid of July, I basically go down to zero by taking out these two remaining frames uh, full of uh, varroa mite and start the new season with almost, almost zero mite, okay? What do I do with these two frames? Well, they have been capped just the day before. So the mite did not have a chance yet to really uh, severely damage the pupa. I immediately do a heat treatment with the Varroa controller and can use these two frames per hive to build new colonies. So six of those heat treated frames, one kilo of bees, a new queen is a perfect new colony. Okay, what continues with our colonies? Basically, there is nothing going on until there is maybe a heavy infestation from outside. So there are bees escaping from highly infested hives, fully loaded with uh, varroa and they are coming into our hives. All of a sudden, within one, two, three, four weeks, I have several hundred of new mites coming in this way. So what can be done? I here in Vienna do a final and last and very important heat treatment at round about mid, mid of October. Mid of October, I reduce again uh, the load and do a final treatment against the uh, attached uh, mites in order to go down to almost zero. Huh? So with this, with this uh, three steps, so spring treatment with two, three capped brood frames, then uh, with heat treatment with the Varroa controller, then the application of the duplex uh, frame box, plus heat treatment with the Varroa controller to create the uh, material for the new colonies and 
The third step is then again uh, heat treatment with the Varroa controller uh, around about mid of October to reduce the load uh, a, a third time in order to have safe overwintering of the colony. By having these three interventions, one can be 100% sure that there is no losses of the hives due to Varroa. The threshold level has never been reached, uh, the mite has no chance and the beekeeper is having pleasure with healthy bees. Maybe some questions now. Uh, one question could be, uh, what is exactly the mechanism this Varroa controller is using in order to kill the mite? And related to that, what is the efficacy of this treatment? This is, I uh, consider, a very important question. And indeed, uh, already in the, we have to go back to the early 90s, when Professor Engels from Tübingen found out that Yes, there is a difference in temperature what the mite and the bee pooper, both are in the same capped root cell, you remember, can tolerate. And indeed, the mite tolerates less, or the bee pooper tolerates more, depends how you want to see it, of temperature and exactly this difference in temperature we are using, we over warm, overheat the cap roots at exactly to that temperature that the mite is not, but the bee pupa is still resisting. Yeah? And this principle has been tested in bee institutes in Belgium and in Germany and both came to the same conclusion that the efficacy is between 95 and 97 percent. So we can say uh, we can kill almost all the mother mites that are in the capped brood cell by heating them up to this specific temperature. Often there is also a question about when can I use it? When can I start using this principle? Well, in principle you, one can use it all year round, but I strongly recommend not to open a hive when it's outside temperature is below 18 degrees Celsius. So I would consider this one as a condition that uh, is given here. When it's 18 degrees Celsius outside, uh, one can do the heat treatment with the Varroa controller. But then, uh, even if it's a rainy season, whatever, and the conventional chemicals maybe are not working anymore, especially the acids, you can still use the Varroa control easily. Also uh, in autumn, you just look for a, a day when it is more than 18 degrees Celsius and then you can do uh, uh, even late autumn treatment. So basically one can intervene when there are too many mites anytime throughout the year, provided that the temperature is around about 18 degrees Celsius. So one Varroa controller accommodates 20 frames. So now we assume that there is about three frames, three frames per hive, capped brood. Then we can say, uh, so that's round about, let's say, be conservative six, six hives uh, in, 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 one, in one treatment. Um, and you can do maybe three, three treatments a day, so that is then uh, 18 to 20 hives per day. Yeah? That is easy. Yeah? Uh, a colleague of, of mine he is using uh, four machines and he has 220 hives and he can certainly go up to 60 and he is uh, treating 60 hives a day using four machines. So that is round about the, the, the logic uh, of the treatment here.